weights. A very relaxed Floyd Mayweather. And there's the referee, Fred Steinwinder the third. Fetch gloves to my bike. There's Royal and Al, all the referees tonight, wearing a ribbon in honor of one of their comrades. Terry Wood, who was a very fine referee and official here, passed away this week, uh, had a heart attack. It was tragic, 50-year-old, great guy, and um, they counted the bell, uh, 10 bells for him earlier in the evening and a uh, sign of respect from the other officials. Our condolences to the Wood family. He was a gentleman. Very nice man, and... Uh, it's really a tragedy. Take a look at the knockout ratio. Mayweather, 83%. Four of those 10 knockouts have come in the first round, seven in the first two rounds. Arroyo has six first round knockouts. He has one knockout loss. Both of these men have Olympic experience. Arroyo, a member of the Puerto Rican Olympic team in 1988, the team that went to the Seoul Olympic Games. Yeah, you know, we just saw Floyd Mayweather crank up the double left hook against the Royal. He's a pure puncher, Floyd Mayweather. He is a guy who can knock you out, and he feels that way. And in that sense, he reminds me a lot of Oscar De La Hoya, in that when De La Hoya became a pro, he really used his power well, and that's what Mayweather is doing. We saw Mayweather make his pro debut on ESPN back in October of 1996. Second round knockout against Roberto Apodaca. In fact, his first rebound to on ESPN. Next up, referee steps in and takes care of things. He's fought in Biloxi once before as Floyd. That came in July of this year. Fifth round TKO against Jesus Chavez. And a little bad blood. Heads come together. Mayweather barely touching the gloves and then diving in. Freddie Steinwinder already has his hands full here. So, spot thickens here in round one. Arroyo's the kind of fighter who has kind of an awkward style, and a combination of his style and the way Mayweather is grabbing him behind the head is creating that situation of the heads bouncing back together. But see, that's what Floyd Mayweather can do. He steps back and says, okay, I don't want to stand the inside, so what am I going to do? I'm going to use my jab, stand the outside. Look at him. Very smart. You won't see most young fighters immediately make that adjustment. He did. Now, you know who he reminds me a little bit of? Oh, look at him. He's, he's blowing kisses. He's not going to redeem himself to many fans with that. And we saw him hot dog in his first couple of pro bouts. I mean, and he's backed it up. Well, well that, I think in this case, some of that came from the fact that there was rough stuff early in the bout. Reminds me a little bit of a young Melvin Taylor. Yeah, that's a good, very good analogy. Who, of course, was the featherweight and then a junior lightweight. And uh, Arroyo says, "You may blow kisses, but I can throw a right hand in earnest." And he landed one. Final seconds of round number one. Hector Arroyo and Floyd Mayweather don't like each other. To the right eye of Hector Arroyo. We begin round number two. The scheduled ten round junior lightweight bout. Bob Papa. Al Bernstein welcome you back to Biloxi, Mississippi. The Grand Casino, numbers in round one. But in a rugged round, uh, Mayweather ended up landing only 29% of his punches, but that was enough to have the edge of a royal. He was busier. You know, he, uh, Mayweather sparred with a middleweight, Ray Collins, and also with Kennedy McKinney, uh, who, of course, just had that big win over Junior Jones out in Las Vegas. Mayweather, born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I want to get good sparring and a lot of competition in the gym, so he moved to Las Vegas. And he has thrived out there. A little lead right hand from Mayweather. Now, one thing uh, his uncles mentioned, Roger and Jeff, especially Jeff, he says, Floyd must use his jab there. He has a tremendous jab, but maybe it's coming a little easy for him. He's throwing those lead rights too much. It's really a very good observation. And, and sometimes he'll get in there and just throw left hooks and battle with the guy. When he jabs his way in, he's effective. And there you see he, he was able to throw that double left hook and get it in, so maybe he didn't think he needed the jab. But he's picking up the beat here in round two, and Arroyo is showing you that he's a skilled veteran. 
blocking those left hooks from Mayweather. And I think you can tell already the Royals prepared for this fight. Both mentally and physically. And she's firing back on Mayweather. Even though he lost the first round, toward the end of that round, he was nailing it with his right hand. The Royals fought on October the 18th in Florida. First round TKO against Jaime Abrica. You know, one thing you have to know about Mayweather, fans tuning in might be saying, well, maybe he's just another overhyped Olympian. 12-0, 10 knockouts, but in his last three bouts against Luis Leja, Philip Garcia, and Angelo Nunez, those three went into those bouts with a combined record of 51 wins and 28 knockouts. Nice right uppercut by Mayweather, but you see Arroyo is going after him. Steinweiner's warning the Royal, but um, I have to say, Floyd is doing a lot of holding inside that's making this even uglier than it needs to be. Watch your hands free inside. Keep your hands working inside. Watch your head. Hector Arroyo is making the kind of fight he needs to make to be in this fight. Ten seconds to go in round two. Mayweather putting his punches together. Arroyo standing right there. Things heating up in Biloxi. Oh, Hector Arroyo has discovered something. If he stays on the inside, see, he can get some things done against Mayweather. Even though he still had some trouble in that last round. In this posture, he's able to use his long arms and his crafty style to land a little bit and not get hit with the big punches by Mayweather. Round three underway. Take a look at the numbers through two rounds. Mayweather with an edge, but not an enormous yeah, edge. And you know, Roger Mayweather was talking to us about Arroyo, and he really made a very good observation. He said, when you look at him, he looks like he's probably very much a classic boxer, but he isn't. And it's true. He's really more of a kind of an awkward, brawling type of fighter who doesn't jab, doesn't stay on the outside and do things a boxer does. He's at his best when he's brawling. He was one fight away from a world championship. He was ranked number one by the WBA, um, and he lost to Manuel Gomez, did Arroyo, in a fight he was winning every round, got tired, got knocked out, and that dashed his title hope. There's Roger Mayweather, two-time world champion, uncle of Floyd, who uh, tutors him in boxing. You heard it. You heard it with the Buddy! You want to see more of that left hook. He's got a good one. You know, Floyd Mayweather has so much confidence and so much ability that he is the kind of guy, though, that will drop his hands, leave his head in a vulnerable position, and only time will tell whether really experienced fighters like a Gennaro Hernandez, who is no doubt looking in on this just to see what a possible future opponent might look like. He may have to make sure that he tucks that head in and protects it against a fighter like Hernandez. Well, the great ones do it when they're young and they can take it to the next level. The pretenders get their block knocked off. <laughs> a very good comment and it's absolutely true. Working the body, Mayweather does not forget to do that. One of the signs of the maturity that we pointed out he has beyond his 20 years. Arroyo had found a home occasionally for that right hand. That one glanced off the head of Mayweather. Hector's having a hard time figuring out what will work offensively. On the seconds in round three. And they scheduled 10 rounder between Floyd Mayweather and Hector Arroyo. Hope you enjoy the action on the deuce. Even though Arroyo had had some success on the inside, that's how to stop that success. Look at a nice combination, including the uppercut by Mayweather. Round number four underway. You get a look at the theater of the Grand Casino in Biloxi. Beautiful place. Out right of the Gulf of Mexico. We have not been to Biloxi in quite a while. I'll tell you, all up and down this uh, strip, there are some very nice hotels. They've done a lot in this area, that's for sure. Mayweather um, in round three with the head of eight punches. 
They were giving away a bunch of different angles. You know, this is all great, but you know what Floyd's doing in a lot of these cases? He's slapping with a lot of his punches. And two, two punches might be better than five if you're going to slap with the last three. Al has it a shutout. I feel like Mayweather has won each of these rounds. Some one was closer, but uh, I thought he's, he's won them all. He doesn't seem, and this is not to take anything away from the oil, but Mayweather doesn't seem as sharp as we've seen him in other bouts. Well, and part of that has to do with the fact that it, Arroyo could very easily be the best guy he's faced. Certainly, Leha, who was 18-3, was a very good fighter, but Arroyo was, in fact, ranked number one as recently as two years ago, and even though he's fallen on harder times in terms of winning fights, clearly, he's not a bad fighter. And also, he, he brings a style to this fight that, as Roger Mayweather aptly pointed out, Freddie Steinwander got in the middle of the fighters, couldn't get away. As, as Mayweather aptly pointed out, it's not a style that's that easy. Boy, trying to talk the fans, too. <laughs> Doesn't need to be fighting anyone but the guy in front of him. And I think part of the reason people started chanting that is, and you, you made a point early on in this bout, some of the show voting of Mayweather not only maybe didn't enchant the judges, but some of the fans as well. Royal using his face a little bit there. landing but he's doing lots of punching and having himself a much better round and that was a nice right hand to the head of Mayweather. That one landed. Best round of the fight for a Royal by far the first one he won. Well, Mayweather looks to answer as we come to the end of round four scheduled for ten. Well, when I think about not being able to see, it's so overwhelming. I went to the doctor. Mr. Arroyo was sent to the canvas on the final punch of round four. Just as we were going to break, the timing was awful for us, but here, you will see Arroyo waging a battle and gets whacked by a great left hook and then a right hand by Mayweather and went down right at the bell, got to his feet, looked a little wobbly, but he will go on. So let's see if Mayweather can capitalize on that now. Normally when a boxer knocks down another boxer out, it's a 10-8 round. Did you feel Arroyo had won that round up until that last week? Round? I actually did, but I'm going to give Mayweather a 10-8 round in any case because Ooh. of the severity of the knockdown. He is whacking Arroyo. This fight could well be over here in the fifth round. And Arroyo had to get up because in Mississippi you can't be saved by the bell except in the final round. And now Arroyo trying to tackle Mayweather. Good work by Freddie Steinwender, standing eight count. And that is in effect in Mississippi. That's an appropriate call, and this is why I like the rule. He's penalized already, but now it gives him a chance to see if he's going to be all right. Some would argue the other way, and they'd say, gee, Mayweather could have finished him off without that standing eight count, but I like it. Now, there is a three knockdown rule, and there's plenty of time left in round five. Body work by Floyd Mayweather. That's the part that really impresses me because most youngsters wouldn't be doing it. And he knows the combinations to use. The uppercut started it. And that'll go. Fred Stonewall in the third says this is over in effect. Fans don't like it, but I think it's a good stoppage because I don't think Arroyo is going to rebound from that. Well, you know, Floyd Mayweather didn't endear himself to this crowd. I think primarily because of the, the some of the showboating early. This is not his home turf, but even the people that are a little distressed should give him his due because he performed exceedingly well in that ring. Floyd Mayweather now 13-0 with his 11th stoppage. As he stops Hector Arroyo, in round number five, and now, now that's a pretty good list. His last four opponents, the wins that he's posted against God's records, as we look at the number, and against a veteran in Hector Arroyo, 
and uh, he, really what that graphic shows is that Hector Royo came here to fight. He didn't come here just to show up, and he did pretty well against Mayweather. They will learn from this fight. He will learn. Jeff behind him, and Roger will, and Miguel Diaz will help tutor him from this table. Let's send it up to Mark Firo for the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 21 seconds of the fifth round, the winner by tactical knockout and still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Well, you hear some of the cheering because of some of the antics from Floyd earlier, but when you cut to the chase and look at the pure boxing ability, an impressive stoppage of Hector Arroyo. We'll hear from Floyd Mayweather Jr. when we return to Biloxi after this timeout on ESPN2. Biloxi, Mississippi, we're back in action Friday night, January the 16th, a week from now. We're in Boise, Idaho as Kenny Keene takes on Richard LaMontagne. It all begins at 9 p.m. Eastern next Friday night. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Floyd Mayweather got the job done here. Uh, Hector Arroyo was kind of rough on the inside. You guys had clashes of heads. Was that style a little difficult to figure out for a round or two? Well, well first I want to thank my sponsors, Nietzsche and um, Groovy Styles, but um, he was kind of awkward. He was, you know, a real, a real tough guy, but um, I stayed focused, and um, God was behind me, and I took care of my job tonight. You did stay focused, and I thought part of that was the how well you counterpunch. Let's look at the first knockdown, and this will give us a good idea. You kept your head about yourself, and you also knew what punches to go to. Describe this for us. Right now, I'm just taking my time. He, he was in there, you know, sh he, he, he was in, we worked, there, we worked around in the back of the dressing room, but he was sitting right there shooting his whole load. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, just catching him on my shoulder and my arm. He landed a few good shots, but, you know, the champion prevailed in the end. And you knocked him down with the left hook before, and then here, we're going to see that left hook again. That's the same knockdown. Nice combination. Man, and now the end of the fight, Floyd. What's that pretty? Look at it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. I like your humility. That was <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Now, let me ask you something. This fight, you came out, you showboated a little bit earlier. You do that. That's part of your thing. Obviously, it rankled the crowd a little bit. They weren't thrilled with that. Do you, do you worry that that's going to create animosity even with the officials? Listen, they hate Camacho, too. It's some guys you All love, right. some guys you hate. Um, yeah, that's what sells tickets. And I'm here to sell tickets, you know. I'm a performer. That's what I do. I sell myself. I don't, I don't need nobody to sell me. I can sell myself. Okay, so you don't mind them being a little annoyed with you? I let them boo. It's, it's no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with that. And that's a part of boxing. Some love you, some hate you. Uh, but I love myself. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, we know that, and I'll tell you what. You look good tonight. So you have a lot to love. Uh, thank you. And I just want to, you know, say hi to my dad in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and say hello to all my fans back in Las Vegas and Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm sure your dad's watching. All right, Floyd Mayweather, happy with his performance. Why not? Let's go back to Bob Papa. And you know, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is happy in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as his son goes to 13-0 with 11 knockouts. Well, the men have had their turn when we come back. The women take center stage as we return after the...